Hi, I'm Dr. Harikiran, uh, board certified plastic surgeon. So uh, today we have uh, Dr. Shubhra Goel, uh, renowned oculoplastic surgeon. I'm glad that uh, she's going to be part of our uh, redefined team. Welcome, Dr. Shubhra. Thank you so much. So today we'll discuss uh, something more from her uh, regarding her uh, field of uh, interest and and expertise that is uh, uh, aesthetics around the eye around the eyes. So the most common complaint to India we have is uh, under eye bags. So we'll just uh, quickly uh, take uh, uh, what are the newer advances, what are the easy steps, so anything can be done at home or uh, do you really re require surgeries for uh, under eye bags. Tell me Dr. Shubhra, so uh, someone is coming, uh, uh, now we have seen a lot of uh, IT crowd who are at uh, age of 25 to 30 and uh, they're coming with uh, hollow eyes and uh, uh, I think there's a multiple problems and one is the dark circles and uh, second is the uh, under eye bags. Mm. Uh, so let's start with this age group who are uh, younger age group between 25 to 35. So what are the solutions we have uh, for the under eye bags? Right? So thank you Dr. Hari. First of all, it's an honor to be here. And uh, see, in the younger age group mainly, uh, it is dark circles as you mentioned and the under eye hollows. The eye bags usually happen 35 plus or 40 plus unless it is running in the family. So if we have under eye hollows, which is also the cause of dark circles, the, we look at a patient in a very tailored manner because not one treatment will fit all the patients. So based on what the patient has, uh, there are various treatments available. Usually these are not surgical patients. We deal with them non-surgically. So we can, uh, if the hollow is very, very deep, then we can do fillers. There are different types of fillers which can be done. And I think there is a myth in the market that the fillers under the eyes are not safe or they can cause some unnatural look to the eyes, which is not true because if people are coming to certified doctors and we know how to treat it, put it minimalistically, then the results are really, really natural and we do it in a holistic manner. Coming to dark circles, again, it's a multifaceted, complex entity. Uh, unfortunately, in the market, people feel if they put green tea bags or they use coffee bags or, you know, they don't, they sleep well, the dark circles will vanish. But yet, they can become little less with that. But dark circles really need, again, a multifaceted approach because dark circle can be because of under eye hollows, it can be skin pigmentation, it can be increased vascularity or, you know, to make it simple, increased blood supply under the eyes. Now, remind you, eyelids, say so skin is very, very thin and sensitive. So anything which is happening will be seen. So for dark circles, again, we have treatments based on IV infusions, looking at the holistic health of a patient and skin care treatments, and then work on the skin quality, which can be done either by surgery or by non-surgical procedures. That's, uh, I think that briefly, I think you answered most of the queries. Uh, and uh, second topic uh, will go. Uh, this is uh, for under eye bags. Let's say a person is having a 45 years, 40, 45 years age group, and they suddenly they'll complain uh, under eye bags. It's very difficult to hide them. A lot, a lot of people wear uh, spect spectacles to cover the under eye bags, mm -hmm. but eventually that looks little unhealthy or drunken faces. Yeah, yeah. So, what is the best uh, remedies we have uh, to address the under eye bags? As you correctly said, I think under eye bags give a very tired and heavy look to the face. So people are often asked, did something happen to you? Why are you looking so tired? Did you not sleep properly? So these are the complaints patients will actually walk in with. Under eye bags can happen in a healthy individual if they have, uh, you know, it's running in family. It can happen because of unhealthy lifestyle. It can happen because of diseases like thyroid, blood pressure, and even kidney diseases, but that is rare. And if it happens, we grade the under eye bags. So if it is mild degree, then we can work around the bags to hide them backward because why bags actually happen is the fat, which is supposed to be behind, comes forward, it pooches out. It's a sponge which holds it and it pooches out. So we want to push it backwards. So we can do it by non-surgical techniques, uh, assessing the patient. Again, there are various techniques like machines and injectables, you know, we, we tailor made it. And if it is moderate to high, which is like big fat that's hanging, there's no other treatment but surgery. Again, these are daycare procedures, very, very safe with no complications and minimal downtime. 
Thank you, Shubhra. So, these are the most common uh, topics uh, usually uh, under eye, under eyes concerned. One is uh, dark circles, uh, where she summarized that uh, most of the times it's non-surgical approach, where uh, we might address it some peels, certain skincare treatments, and some uh, measurements. I think from your lifestyle, I think all these things are really helpful for dark circles. And for under eye bags, based on the the grading, I think early grade, I think it's a uh, a non-surgical and higher grades I think probably it's surgical that's what I think she briefly uh, mentioned it about and uh, fillers can be complemented whenever we have a lot of people have apprehension of the dermal fillers but they are very safe and uh, they usually they don't have uh, any harm if at all even if you get under eye also so uh, people say it's blindness and all these things but they're extremely extremely rare uh, situations I think in one in one lakh or one in maybe lesser than that so you can uh, definitely if you are going under uh, right expertise so so i think uh, under eye fillers are very very safe so i think you can safely go for the under eye fillers if at all if you are uh, right suitable uh, suit you are a suitable candidate i think you can definitely go for that so this way i think we conclude uh, uh, today's uh, topic of uh, dark cycles and under eye bags thank you